Hi, and welcome to Motion Industries How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and in today's How To, we're going to discuss the fundamentals of rotating equipment alignment. And here to help us out is our special guest, Bill Holtz from Rexnord Industries. Bill, first of all, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. Hey, you know, we've got two pieces of rotating equipment right here an electric motor driving a gearbox with a shaft coupling, connecting them. Now, tell us why it's so important to align rotating equipment. Well, when two pieces of equipment are connected with a flexible coupling, shaft alignment should be as close as possible to extend the life and performance of the equipment. Good alignment will minimize bearing, shaft, seal, and coupling failures, it will also reduce bearing and coupling temperatures, vibration, and even energy consumption. Bill, when two shafts are aligned, what exactly does that mean? Well, it means the two shafts are on the same line and also have the proper distance between the shafts. Okay. If they don't meet these requirements, then there are three types of misalignments that could exist. You could have angular, parallel, axial, or a combination of them. All right, so today we're focusing on angular and parallel types. Uh, what do these look like? Well, this is what two aligned shafts would look like, mm -hmm. okay? And then angular misalignment looks like this, All right. okay? And then parallel misalignment would look like this. Oh. Okay, all right, well then what exactly is the alignment process? Okay, there are several methods with varying amounts of time and precision associated with each. Okay, for our demonstration, we'll cover the most basic method called straight edge and caliper method. Okay, we have one important pre-alignment consideration called soft foot. Okay, this exists when a piece of equipment is not resting flat on its base. Okay, um, a good analogy of this would be, have you ever been in a coffee shop and a table rocks? I think everybody has, yeah. So what do you do to correct it? Um, you find something to slide under the leg, whether it's a matchbook or maybe a couple packets of sugar or something because you want it to stop from rocking. Yep, you got it. What you've just done is you've just corrected for soft foot. Okay. Now in our demonstration, the legs of our table are really the four motor feet. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to make sure that that motor foot is flat. If we, don't, if we don't take care of that soft foot condition, you're now going to stress that motor frame and you're also going to probably have some problems uh, accurately aligning your equipment. So uh, what will we need to align this equipment using the straight edge and the caliper method? You probably got some tools, right? Yeah. Well, the nice thing about this method is that there's not that many tools involved. All we're going to need is a straight edge, a caliper, some feeler gauges for measuring some gaps, some shims for making adjustments to the motor height, some wrenches, and a dead blow hammer for making moves on the motor. Okay, so are we ready to align the equipment? You bet, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna put on the safety glasses here. All right, I got my PPE, let's go. Okay, so we'll be moving the motor shaft into alignment with the gearbox shaft. For this demonstration, we've already set up the proper axial distance between the shaft ends, okay? Now we'll start with correcting the angular misalignment, okay? So we measure the gap on the hub face in the 12, the three, the six, and the nine o'clock position. If there's no angular misalignment between these two pieces, all four of these readings should be the same. Okay. All right. So we have to correct in the vertical and in the horizontal plane. If the reading in the 12 and the 6 o'clock position are different, we have misalignment in the vertical plane. So now what we do is, is we add shims to the motor to either tilt the motor up or tilt the motor down so those numbers are now the same. Just as if we were adding sugar packets to the rocking table. That's right, exactly okay. right. Okay. okay. If the readings in the three o'clock and nine o'clock position are different, we have misalignment in the horizontal plane. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, except instead of raising and lowering the motor, we're giving a, a little push or a little bit of a pull so that those numbers in the three and the nine o'clock position are the same. And gotcha. that will take care of angular misalignment. Okay, got it. Okay, now to correct for the parallel misalignment, we press a steel straight edge on the rim of one of the hubs and use a feeler gauge to measure the gap under the other one, okay? This is the amount of parallel misalignment that exists between the two shafts, okay? Got it, okay. If, if there is a gap, then again, we need to raise the motor up until there is no gap, all right? That takes care of the vertical plane. Then we're going to put the steel ruler in the three and the nine o'clock position, mm -hmm and we're gonna measure that gap as well. Gotcha. And then we're going to push or pull the motor until there's no gap on the other side. 
So now we've got the angular misalignment taken care of, the right. parallel misalignment taken care of. Okay. Now we can just torque down the motor bolts to the recommended value, and then we go back and we're going to check our alignment readings that we've done, and we've really completed the equipment alignment. At this point, we're ready to take the flexible coupling, mount the flexible coupling on the equipment, tighten the cap screws, and we're ready to go. Awesome. That is great. Bill, thank you very much. We appreciate your time here. Good information. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And if you'd like more information, just go to the Motion Industries branch location that's nearest you. And hopefully, today's demonstration is going to help you with your practical application. And remember, I put my PPE on earlier. Always wear your personal protective equipment. It's extremely important. And it's also important to check out the Motion Industries how-to videos. I'm Tom Clark. I'm your host. Thanks for watching.